cloudy day but it's Tuesday so we're gonna head to the cycle gear bike night got Marcos Matt on the beautiful fire blade this thing is so sick yeah get it Marcos <laughs> I know I shouldn't say this out loud but I'm going to anyways God, I hope it doesn't rain. I feel like a cruise with the boys and some rush hour traffic. My boy Lightspeed was supposed to meet with us, but this dude has had the worst possible luck. He's got a flat tire which obviously is bad luck but it's not just that for the last four weeks in a row he has gotten a flat tire and one of the times it was both the front and the rear and it's almost unbelievable how bad his luck is i feel so bad for him so he calls me today these guys met me at work he calls me he's like uh you're not gonna believe this i've got yet another flat He's not coming. Unfortunately, you guys don't get to see the, the gorgeous H2. Especially now that it's all done up, got the wings on it. Good lord. That bike absolutely screams. is insanely loud and then you got the titanium headers and it's just ear piercing yeah there's nothing better than this uh, long day at work and then you get to link up with the boys go cruise around this cycle gear is always packed too there's probably like 300 bikes that come through this one so there should be a good meet I've noticed that pretty much all the Isle of Man guys. Oh shit! <laughs> all the Isle of Man guys are running the Triple R now. It's because the gearing, the top end of those bikes is just endless.
Dude, that helmet looks sick as fuck with that bike too. <laughs> chill ride there's some, we're taking kind of a back road route because the traffic on the highway was even on a bike unbearable video I forgot to take the ND filter off while it was very dark well it wasn't super dark but ND filters don't do good with uh, like artificial lighting or something I don't know but I wasn't able to show you guys all the updates made to the bike but this time this will be bright as long as I remember <laughs> this guy sticking his knee out uh, I'll show you guys some of the updates I've done to this bike. Here, Marco's trying to clutch it up. <laughs> oh, he's getting a little bit. Oh, oh. Somebody get this man a blue chew. <laughs> I'm acting like I can do any better. <laughs> yeah, high on the list this year is learning how to actually wheelie. I got a buddy who's got a little 125 he's gonna let me practice on. Because while I could mess around on this thing, I'd really rather not. Oh, but we're here already. Alright, that was quick. It was actually a much quicker ride than I was expecting. See what kind of turnout we got out here. I gotta talk to my boy Fat and Furious while we're out here too. He's gonna help me out with uh, my night settings on the GoPro. 
I don't know if you guys uh, have seen his channel too. If you haven't, look him up, Fat and Furious. I'll put uh, put his channel on the screen for you. But he's got some of the best and cleanest night footage I've ever seen. Oh, there's my boy Carbon. Getting some shots of the boys rolling up all together. What up? <laughs> oh, and who's Zach made it out actually? Bunch of people. Man, this place filled out quick. Bike's getting hot. What's up, brother? You made it. But yeah, some of the titanium. Look at that. Looks insane on the motor. I did all the fairing bolts, caliper bolts, front hugger. Literally everything. Every bolt on this is blue titanium now. All the controls. This one's cool too. Uh, then I also did the gold 520 chain conversion. So I did the EK chain and the Vortex front rear sprocket. Oh yeah, the Cordona uh, World Superbike Quick Shifter. The one of the Yamaha is not bad, but I mean, that one's just way snappier. It's quicker. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm sure I'm missing something, but. Yeah, this bike's pretty much put together for at least the time being. I do want to do a brake upgrade though, because that is the one thing that is lacking on this bike. We'll figure it out. Did you have your bike at H and H Cycles? Uh, probably at some point. Cause I swear, like, cause I went there to get my bike fixed and I was like walking in the back and shit and he was like working on this. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one? Yeah. Cause it, it was like, I couldn't tell cause the other guy had the same blue screws and shit and everything. So yeah. I, I didn't know if that was the same one or not. No, yeah, not mine. But that's a nice ass bike. Bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> These things are so fun, man. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a Jigsaw boy, 1000, so. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're great bikes, man. People love to talk shit about them, but they're great bikes, I man. It, man. I love it. It, it was a, I got it last year, a 2013 with less than 1,100 miles. Hell yeah, dude. That shit's brand new. It still is less than See you later, brother. Yeah, you too, man. man. You too, bro. All right, we're about to head out. Take a look at this beautiful fire blade. Man, I don't think the color comes through on camera. This thing is absolutely gorgeous such a underrated bike this is probably one of the fastest bikes honestly i mean minus the h2 not much is going to beat this especially stage two he's got the stacks tune obviously headers exhaust air filter and this thing is a monster we're about to cruise out but i'm going to make that a separate video thank you guys for watching catch you in the next one